It's time for some great new enhancements in SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D. Let's make a 3D design change that starts with the 2D schematic and flows all the way to the drawing of the 3D assembly. We're going to add a chassis ground splice. Switching to 3D, I'll continue by deleting the existing harness without the grounding lead, making the splice connector visible. The splice connector is directly in line with the EW path sketch. Before routing the harness again, we'll need to associate the splice connector to J1. Now we'll route the H1 harness again. We'll associate the new schematic changes with the H1 harness. With the route recentered, let's flatten the route, selecting the horizontal route segment. In 2025, flatten route now prevents creation of a loop where there's a splice directly on top of the path. SOLIDWORKS now uses existing sketch segments passing through the splice connector instead of adding new sketch segments for the unspliced wires to avoid creation of loops in the splice component. The flatten route tool also improves support for complex and multi-circuit splices. For example, identifying the junction points and loop segments and moving them to a flattened plane. And directing fanouts away from the route segments rather than integrating them into the route segments. The editing of flattened routes has been improved. Even with the significant change to harness, the drawing updates are even better. Over the last few service packs of 2024 and into 2025, there have been continuing efforts to enhance the quality of the flattening of routes. In this drawing, I've already done a little cleanup, but far less than in prior versions. Connector tables are placed outside the drawing view and do not overlap each other. If you add a new column or connector table, we now prompt you to apply the changes to the other tables. As will formatting changes to headers also trigger a prompt. Now when the SLD DRW are saved and there are existing drawings in the electrical project, it will automatically update. This is thanks to a new dynamic link between SOLIDWORKS and electrical project drawings. Previously, if you made any changes to the SOLIDWORKS drawing, you had to click the Create Project Drawing button again to replace the existing drawing. Speaking of updates, we now have the ability to update data or replace data from within the 3D SOLIDWORKS CAD. Suppose you had a typo in the description of the plug housing. Let's go change it to 30 amps. Back in the assembly, let's open the manufacturing library from 3D, which we've been able to do all along, and make our changes to the description of the manufacturing part. At this point, we would have to go back to the electrical schematic software, or had our coworker, with the access to the electrical schematics, to push the library changes into the project with the update data or replace data. But now we can push this change from the update data in the process submenu. Selecting only manufacturer part data to update. Here's our part one that is different between the library and the project. For the update to carry into the custom properties of our part, we'll disassociate and reassociate to our AC1 component. Opening the part and reviewing the custom properties, we'll see the change has occurred. Now back to the drawing and our description is updated in the bill of materials. Now in 2025, electrical 3D, flattening of splices, drawing detailing have been made much easier.